Chapter 415 Honestly, Alex didn't want to go. In fact, he would even reject Emma's offer if it wasn't for Elaine meddling between them like that. The reason why he didn't want to go was that he was rather repulsed by Mia right now. Ever since Mia found out that he was her life savior and her dream lover after he rescued her for the second time, she had been confessing to him repeatedly. Now that she asked his wife to the hot springs and insisted on inviting him, his wife might be the cover for her real intention of wanting to see him. It would be very awkward and unpleasant if he did go. However, he was irritated and annoyed by Elaine's babbling and nagging. You don't want me to go, huh? I will go then. Bite me. Elaine didn't expect Alex to disobey her. She was panting and huffing with anger, but she couldn't say anything in front of Emma. Since Alex had agreed to go, Emma said, Mia booked rooms at Pinewood in the suburbs, it is said to be the property of Orem Hotel. I saw the reviews, it's quite a nice place indeed. She'll pick us up from here tomorrow. Alex nodded. Okay, I'll just follow you. Remember to pack a pair of swimming trunks, you must wear those in the hot spring. Alex chuckled. Then don't you have to wear a swimsuit too, dear? Of course. Obviously. Elaine hurriedly interjected, Emma. You cannot wear a bikini. Pack the least revealing swimsuit. I don't want Alex the bastard to take advantage of you. Then, she added as something struck her mind, oh yes. I have a set of fasikini in your size. Do you want it? I'll take it out for you. Fasakini was a swimsuit worn by middle-aged women at the beach. It was not only in one piece and very tightly wrapped, but the most horrible part was that it wrapped the whole face in like a three-hole balaclava for eyes, nose, and mouth. Someone wearing it would be like a terrorist but in a swimsuit. When you put on the fasakini, your face would be buried under the hideous mask and become a monster without a face and expression no matter how beautiful or ugly you are. Emma stomped angrily when her mother suggested that she wear a fasakini. Mom, are you the devil? I'm only in my twenties, why would you want me to wear the ugly fasakini? Why don't you let me soak in the hot springs wrapped in a trench coat and sweatpants instead? Elaine said with a serious face, I don't want you to be taken advantage of. Just look at Alex, sneaky and perverted like a fox. You must be careful. Alex was extremely furious. Damn it. I should have let Albert and his father Henry jump on you, rape you, and kill you that day. Why did I rescue you anyway? It's just a waste of my energy and time. Emma was frustrated by her mother too. She quickly finished her dinner and went back to her room with Alex. When they were packing, Emma chose a swimsuit that was neither too revealing nor too sexy, but looked very casual and comfortable instead. Alex was simple, a pair of boxer shorts was enough for him. The next morning, when they had packed their bags, Mia called and told them that she was waiting downstairs.